The Toyota Tacoma has established itself as a trustworthy pickup truck for the North American market as well as other markets since 1995. It was built so well that the first-generation Tacoma is still available today. What are these trucks like? We'll discuss the specs, advantages, disadvantages, and issues of the first-generation Tacoma in this short video. And before we start, please make sure you've subscribed to the channel and press the like button. The initial intention when it was first put on the market in 1995 was to displace the utility vehicle Hilux. Features like airbags and anti-lock brakes that the Hilux lacked were present in the Tacoma's first generation. Additionally, this truck has 2.4, 2.7, and 3.4 liter engines that generate 142 to 190 horsepower. Although it does have an outdated design, it is not overly sour. The headlights are the only component of the first generation Tacoma that remain consistent throughout all of its design changes. There are five Tacoma models on the market, N140, 150, 160, 170, and N190. The second generation model's codes start with N220 and so on. Each of these models has a 4-speed automatic or 5-speed manual transmission as standard equipment. Depending on the model, you can choose from a wide range of engines. One thing to keep in mind is how susceptible to rust the first-generation Tacomas were. Any first-generation Tacoma you are considering purchasing should be thoroughly examined if you don't reside on the West Coast or in a dry climate. Toyota actually offered a truck repurchase program from 1995 to 2000 in response to the rust problem, and later extended an indefinite corrosion warranty to all first-generation pickups. Fast acceleration is provided by the base engine, especially when paired with the manual transmission. Despite having slightly more horsepower and torque, the four-wheel drive model's 2.7-liter four-cylinder engine feels more stressed during all types of driving. The 3.4-liter V6 in Tacomas typically has strong standing start acceleration. When the two-wheel drive automatic V6 double cab was tested, the truck performed admirably. You get an average of 16, 1 mpg with the four-wheel drive and manual transmission, which is not too bad. The quality of the ride is average. Tacoma leaps over ruts in the road and stomps over potholes. Although the handling isn't great, the brakes are trustworthy. In the front seats, there is space for two adults to spread out. The back of the truck is better off being used for cargo rather than people, as is the case with many compact pickups. The noise levels are a little higher than those of comparable compact pickups from Ford or Chevy. Even with the 3.4-liter V6, Tacoma's towing limits are about 1,000 pounds less than those of the Ranger and S-Series, though its payload ratings are competitive with anything in its class. Furthermore, Tacoma only provides cargo beds with a length of 6.2 feet. While almost all of the competition offers a regular cab model with a cargo bed that is 7 or 7.5 feet long. Reliability The most dependable compact trucks are Toyota Tacomas from the first generation. Even though the most recent model of the first generation has been out of production for more than 15 years and has logged more than 200,000 miles, they continue to function well and require only moderate maintenance costs. You are getting a truck that outlasts the majority of rivals, even ones that are more advanced than the Tacomas. Your truck still performs admirably well even if it has rust problems. The Toyota Tacoma of the first generation is appealing and retains its value well. A well-kept truck will last a very long time without costing a fortune in repairs, that much is certain. Adaptability Tacomas from the first generation have adaptable drivetrains that enable them to handle the road with ease. They have a significant advantage over rivals thanks to their ability to travel off-road. A first-generation Tacoma with rear-wheel drive and a four-speed automatic transmission is regarded as an all-terrain, all-weather vehicle that can comfortably transport your cargo anywhere. For added security when driving in the winter, it also includes all-season tires. Although a number of Tacoma's rivals have stronger engines, the V6 engine is adequate for the truck's requirements. Demand There is a rise in demand for these trucks as a result of two things. The first is their deservedly well-known track record of dependability. The lack of available first-generation Toyota Tacomas is the second contributing factor. Why so? Because, as was already mentioned, rust issues forced Toyota to buy the majority of the 1995-2004 models directly from its customers. The result is a low supply and a high demand. Price increases as a result of rising demand. The good news for truck sellers is that their truck will hold its value pretty well in the long run. As a result, when you decide to sell your Tacoma, there will still be a high demand and the price will not change. The market for used compact trucks will be dominated by Tacomas from the first generation. Trustworthiness Compact truck buyers have the misconception that older models are more likely to endure longer than newer ones. 
This opinion, or lack of trust, is based more on sentiment than on reality. There is always the possibility that earlier times were better. The first-generation Toyota Tacomas are considered golden oldies in the industry because they were among the first compact trucks to enter the market. It will appeal to anyone who has even a passing interest in small cars or trucks in general. Low depreciation. First-generation models lose value more slowly than other compact cars. This is all due to their dependability and ease of upkeep. For instance, it's a big deal to know that a 2003 Tacoma is still for sale and that its value hasn't dropped too much. Again, with such first-generation trucks, early rusting is a concern, but it does not necessarily accelerate their depreciation. Toyota Buyback In 2008, Toyota was forced to recall hundreds of thousands of first-generation Tacomas because of a rust problem that led to the degeneration of some truck components. In 2012, 150,000 more first-generation Tacomas were recalled because extra tire carriers had rusted. You might believe that these vehicle recalls have decreased their value. You'd be mistaken, though. In a court settlement, Toyota agreed to pay $3 billion to truck owners. Most of the vehicles were replaced, and the seriously damaged ones were scrapped. Toyota even made five-figure payments to specific truck owners who met the requirements for these refunds. Later, the performance of every vehicle that had been reframed improved. First-gen Tacoma design Between 1995 and 2004, almost no models were as opulent as those made today. Older designs tended to prioritize functionality over aesthetics. The majority of first-generation models have an aggressive exterior style. The vehicle's all-road ability is demonstrated by the large wheels and high ground clearance. The truck has an aggressive appearance enhanced by its vertical front and broad grille. The vehicle has attractive flared headlamps that work in conjunction with some ingenious body creases to give it a sporty appearance. There is a fairly large cargo bed in the back and a handy rear bumper that doubles as a footstep to make loading and unloading easier. Again, is the first-gen Tacoma reliable? The first-gen Tacoma, which lasted until 2004, is reliable. It still holds its value even throughout the years. Safety standards of the first-gen Tacomas Antilock brakes and electronic brake force distribution are standard equipment on all models. Traction control is a requirement on V6 models while stability control is an option. In federal crash tests, this truck received 3 out of a possible 5 stars for driver safety and frontal collision and 4 stars for passenger safety. With a high risk of pelvic injuries, it received 3 stars for front occupant safety and side impact testing. This first-generation truck received an acceptable rating from the IIHS for frontal offset collision testing. First-gen Tacoma interior Although the interior design is straightforward, the materials are of high quality, and the plastics seem to be durable. Although the dashboard has a sturdy and straightforward appearance, it is very functional, and you will value the convenient center console. The large windows and elevated driving position allow for excellent road visibility, and all controls are conveniently located. The sleek instrument cluster has a straightforward appearance and a collection of white-faced gauges with an easy-to-read layout. There are plenty of adjustments to help you feel comfortable behind the wheel, and the seats are comfortable for both long and short rides. However, they might have had more side bolstering. The steering wheel had an ergonomic design that offered a secure grip and was quite advanced for its time. A few adjustments were also doable, giving some comfort from common sense. First-Gen Tacoma Engine and Performance the standard 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder engine in the first-generation Toyota Tacoma generates 142 horsepower and 160 pound-feet of torque. The 2.7-liter engine is the next option and comes in both four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive configurations. It has 142 horsepower and 177 pound-feet of torque. The 3.4-liter V6 engine in the Toyota Tacoma Double Cab has a standard output of 190 horsepower and 220 pound-feet of torque. Additionally, you have the following options, a 4-speed automatic transmission or a 5-speed manual transmission. The 4-cylinder engines can tow up to 3,500 pounds, and the V6 can tow up to 5,000 pounds, making all of the engines strong and capable of handling the truck's utilitarian nature. The Toyota Tacoma's one guarantee is that it will carry you through challenging terrain and challenging weather conditions while remaining in excellent condition. So, you can expect this car to provide dependable service for at least 200,000 miles. When properly maintained, you can even push it further and get your truck to 300,000 miles. In the past, getting a Tacoma to last 300,000 miles would have seemed impossible. But now you can get the most miles out of your truck before any expensive repairs are necessary because of improved manufacturing processes and components. Nevertheless, you are crucial to this. The key is proper maintenance.
Like most vehicles, the first-generation Tacomas have drawbacks and are not without fault. Here are a few illustrations. Frame rust. Their frames allow moisture to get inside, accelerating the corrosion process. While Toyota issued a recall and paid some owners, your Tacoma might be one of the corrected vehicles. Most of the earlier models' undercarriages have already been covered to address the problem. Nevertheless, give your truck's underside a thorough inspection if you want to look for corrosion. Failing Lower Ball Joint First-generation Tacomas have a high risk of lower ball joint failure due to a finishing problem during production. This happens mainly with models made between 2001 and 2004. Some drivers reported a humming noise coming from underneath their trucks or difficult steering before the ball joint failed. Some people were not as lucky. Their trucks stopped working all of a sudden. Because of how widespread the lower ball joint issue was, Toyota was once more forced to recall all models from 2001 to 2004. Before you consider purchasing one of the first-generation models, look at the lower ball joints. Broken Glove Compartment Tab The glove compartment tab on these trucks is another common source of worry. The rattling noise coming from the passenger side of trucks is a common occurrence. Some ill-fitting rubber tabs are the cause of this rattle. These tabs came loose during manufacturing causing the glove compartment to fit poorly and hit the bottom of the dash. The replacement of the glove compartment as a whole is the best remedy for this. Automatic Transmissions Issues About nine model years are affected by this transmission issue. The automatic transmissions in some of the cars do not shift properly. By adjusting the gear sensor and changing the solenoid, you can still resolve this problem. Crankshaft Pulley Bolt Screw thread wear is the cause of this minor issue. The pulley bolt on the crankshaft comes loose. This occurs with these trucks because, let's face it, they have been in existence for quite some time, so it's not surprising. By using a thread locker and then retorquing the bolt, you can fix this issue. Conclusion As a replacement for the high lux, the first-generation Toyota Tacoma was introduced in the United States in 1995. The Toyota Tacoma was more well-rounded than the high lux, providing a better ride, better handling, and a bigger payload capacity. Additionally, it has 2.4, 2.7, and 3.4 liter engines with 142 to 190 horsepower available. At least 200,000 miles are covered by the good mileage of the first generation Tacoma. It also has an exterior that is strong and hardy, capable of withstanding adverse weather. Although rust has been an issue for some first generation Tacomas over the years, Toyota has done a great job of resolving it.